<laughs> Look at what's left. Isn't that crazy? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are down here at the water already. We have seven traps today, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be comparing which bait works the best for trapping crawfish. So the baits that we have here are some herring. You've seen me use these before in my how to trap crawfish video. Some friskies, indoor, uh, meaty bits, saucy seafood bait, cat food. And then some mackerel. These are just ocean mackerel. Uh, anybody who lives near the ocean will know what they are. They're really oily, kind of nasty fish. And I was going to do a control where I just threw the trap out totally empty to see what would happen, but I figured uh, we'd probably know exactly what happens. Nothing would go in the trap. So instead, I brought this overgrown cucumber from the garden. They do eat plants and meat, so I figured it'd be interesting just to see, throw one out with this in it. The area that we're going to be throwing them out from shore here, pretty much all within about 30 feet. I just don't want to spread them out too much because that would uh, maybe, you know, one spot has more crayfish than the other spot. But the other thing is also, I don't want to put them too close together because a lot of these will uh, leak like oils and stuff out of them into the water. And I don't want to, you know, have the crayfish go into one trap thinking it's another bait. So a little spread out, but not too, uh, too spread out. Okay, so we got seven traps here. And the reason that I have this glove on, well, these things stink wicked bad. So we're going to throw two herring into one trap, two herring into another trap two mackerel into one trap, two mackerel into another trap, one can of the cat food into one, one can of the cat food into the other, and the reason that I'm not totally opening up those is because uh, they'll just eat right through it really quick, so just crack it, the the juices and everything will come out into the water, and they'll, uh, they'll hang around a lot longer. And then last but not least, the giant cucumber. I am going to, uh, break this open for them just because I don't think that they will be able to get through that skin on their own so make it a little easier on them okay our first trap here it's now set oh there's a crayfish right there are you kidding me He's a little guy. Oh, they're definitely around. Throw him back. Don't have any way to bring him home anyways today. Next up, we're gonna throw this herring trap about five feet to the left of the uh, cat food trap. Next up, we got the stinkiest one so far, and that's the mackerel trap. And then we'll repeat that process. We'll go cat food, herring, and mackerel again. And last but not least, we got the cucumber trap. We're just gonna throw this one in the middle of it all, I guess. This is more just a joke than anything. But who knows, this might work. I personally think that the cat food is gonna do the best from trapping them this summer. I realize that uh, that seems to have some good results, but we'll just go straight out here okay guys there we got our trap set up you can see a crayfish right there probably from the scent being in the water from my hands and everything but uh so from the summer i noticed that the cat food was performing really really well i don't know guys i'm not sure which one's going to be the best but i really have a good feeling about that cat food never leave the trash behind we're going to pick that up throw the red bag on our back and we'll be back in about 24 hours all right, it is now the next day, guys. This traps have soaked for about 24 hours or so. Looks like at least most of them are still here from what I can see. We're gonna start with the first one, which is the, the uh, cat food. And this is the one that I think was going to do the best. Oh, it is loaded. Absolutely loaded. 
Oh wait, no, this isn't the cat food one. This was the herring one. Holy smokes. That's like, that's gonna be a lot to count. Jeez. My plan is to count each trap individually into just one bucket. Look at how full that is. That's absolutely crazy. Okay. All right, one, two, three, 13. Look at what they did to that fish. Literally nothing left. 14, 15, 16. Say seven. Look at this, guys. Literally stripped it clean, nothing left. 78, 79, and I think I heard one drop over here. Maybe not, he might already be gone if he did. Yeah, he's probably gone. 79 out of the first trap. Try and get those bones out. They do kind of hurt when they pinch you though. 79 out of the trap with the herring in it. And look what they did to it. Literally nothing left of that thing. That's insane in one night. Okay, this must be the cat food trap. The last one wasn't. Oh no, this is the cucumber trap. <laughs> yeah, actually we got some in there. Well, they didn't eat too much of it. Oh, look. Oh, made a little home for himself. Oh, there's a little bluegill there. Got to get rid of him. We can't keep those. Look at that. He made like a little house for himself. <laughs> All right, out of the cucumber trap. We got one. Oops. Two. Three. 13 out of the cucumber trap. Oh, this is the cat food, okay. Wow. Not nearly as many as the herring. I mean, there's still some in there, but. One, two, three. Twenty-four out of the first cat food trap. Something definitely really messed with this trap. I don't know if you can see that or not. My finger goes right below it. It's like something busted it open. Probably a turtle. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but yep, yeah, this is mackerel. Yeah, there's a bunch in there. Man. Not quite as much as the herring, I don't think, but that's why I threw two traps so that we could really see if there was uh, any major differences. You know, I get that maybe in some cases they just decide to go into one over another. 58, but I also dropped one in the water. He crawled out and I couldn't get him. So 59 out of the mackerel trap. And look what they did to the mackerel overnight. Tore him down. Bones. It's weird, every time I throw these traps, there's always a fishing line that comes back with them. And I never put a fishing line in the trap, obviously. See this? Makes no sense to me. This is the cat food. Yeah. Not terrible, but not great. Still the herring's winning so far. 35, 35 of the next cat food trap. This one should be either a herring or a mackerel. And it's loaded. Which one's this? This is the herring. Guys, another one with the herring with a ton in it. All right. They also seem bigger in these. One, two. Three, four, 
five, six. Sixty-nine out of the second herring trap. I'm pretty sure that's what we got in the last herring trap, unless it was 79. I forget. Too many numbers. They eat them down to nothing. Hungry little critters. Okay, our last trap here. Well, it's definitely quite a bit, but I don't think it's gonna match 70. Isn't that crazy? All right, one. <laughs> 44. 45. This guy fell out. 46. Well, we got about a half five gallon bucket full. 46 out of that last mackerel trap, so I'm pretty sure that uh, the herring has taken the win today, which is impressive to me because I thought for sure it was gonna be the cat food. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. If you wanna see how I trap these, feel free to click one of the videos around the screen here. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. And uh, that tells you how I pick the spots and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.